Have you ever stopped to think that some amazing formulas are hidden in products we use every day and that most people simply never realize their potential? Today, you'll learn about a mixture that seems too simple to deliver such an impressive result. And that's precisely why almost no one talks about it. But after you see what it's capable of doing, it's impossible to forget. So stay with me until the end, because the effect of this combination will truly surprise you. Let's start the right way, step by step, like a true technical process. First, I separate 100 milliliters of synthetic enamel. I choose a clean container, free of residue, that allows for thorough mixing. Now let's move on to the second ingredient, which people usually associate only with school projects and simple crafts, but which, when used intelligently, reveals properties that many people don't even imagine white PVA glue. I measure exactly 50 milliliters of this glue in a clean cup. Next, I add 50 milliliters of clean water at room temperature. No hot water, no cold water. Using a wooden stick, I begin to dissolve the glue in the water, slowly and with constant movements, until a completely homogeneous liquid is formed. This step transforms the glue it ceases to be merely an adhesive and begins to act as an agent that modifies the texture and fluidity of the mixture. With this solution ready, I pour everything into the container where the synthetic enamel is. Again, I mix it with the wooden stick, slowly, without stirring too much. We don't want air, we don't want bubbles. We want complete integration of the components. As you mix, you can already perceive a sensory change. The texture becomes creamier and thicker, but at the same time more fluid. This transformation is the first sign that we are creating something special. Now comes the element that brings the formula to life, the liquid pigment. I'll add approximately 20 drops. I chose orange, but you can use any compatible liquid pigment here. Very important, add it little by little. Controlling the shade is essential to maintain the final quality of the project. After achieving the perfect shade, I mix it a little more until it's completely uniform. If you're not already subscribed, now's the time. Subscribe now and stay up to date with all the news and exclusive tips. This way you won't miss any new videos, and you'll also support the channel so we can bring you even more quality content. Click the subscribe button and become part of this community. Once the homemade paint is ready, I transfer it to a suitable container for application to make the job easier and avoid waste. Now comes the moment we've all been waiting for. On what surface does this formula work so well? Today I'm going to apply it to a completely raw surface, without a sealer, without primer, without any preparation. A real challenge that usually reveals any flaw in the mixture. Using a roller, I apply the first coat lightly, spreading it carefully. Pay attention here. Even without prior treatment, the formula begins to adhere immediately. It behaves stably, covers evenly, and doesn't develop gaps. This is due to the combination of the enamel forming the film and the PVA acting as a leveling and adhesive agent. After the first application, I let it rest for 15 minutes. This time allows the surface to receive the second coat more efficiently. After that, I apply it again, with the same care, leaving a smooth and continuous finish. Now, I let it dry for at least six hours. During this period, the enamel cures and the PVA stabilizes, uniting to form a resistant layer. And finally, the moment you've been waiting for has arrived. After six hours, look what this mixture delivers. A glossy finish, no bubbles, no lumps, smooth texture, solid color, firm adhesion, and a surprising detail. It doesn't scratch easily. On a bare surface without any prior preparation, it's a homemade economical solution with impressive performance.
If you enjoyed this discovery, leave a comment below about what type of surface you'd like me to test next time. And of course, save this video, share it with anyone who likes to learn these techniques, and keep following us, because here we always find clever ways to innovate and invent. Have you ever imagined mixing powdered pigment and used motor oil and turning it into something completely different than you imagined? Today I'll show you step by step how to do it at home quickly and easily. The first step is to take a clean container and carefully add 100 milliliters of used engine oil. Now it's time to add the second ingredient, powdered pigment. Here I'll use red, but you can choose any color that matches the finish you desire. Set aside about 15 grams, enough to give an intense color. Add the pigment to the container with the oil and stir gently with a wooden stick or any other object you have at home. Stir well and patiently until all the powder is dissolved and the solution is smooth and shiny. Let me know in the comments where you're watching from. Write your city and country. It's fascinating to see how far this content reaches, discover who's part of this community, and it inspires me to produce videos tailored to you, wherever you are in the world. Once the color is fully incorporated, add the third ingredient. This one is optional, but it makes all the difference. Add approximately five milliliters of liquid termite killer. Mix again until everything is well combined. The smell will change slightly, but this is normal. You might be wondering what this mixture is for, so I'll show you now, and I'm sure you'll thank me for learning this powerful tip. Or if you prefer, pour the entire mixture into a paint tray. This step makes application easier, allowing the roller or brush to absorb the ideal amount of paint and ensuring even and efficient coverage across the entire surface. Now is the time to reveal. Here in front of me is an old piece of wood, full of signs of wear, dark moisture stains, rain marks, scratches, and even termite attack spots, something that over time tends to happen in many homes and is more common than we imagine in everyday life. Start applying the mixture with a roller, using long strokes and moving along the grain of the wood. A single coat is enough to cover the entire surface and create a uniform layer. As you apply, you'll notice the pigment's color create a beautiful finish and the oil penetrates deep into the wood, forming a protective barrier. The third ingredient, added at the beginning, will work over time to help prevent pests from reappearing. This technique not only helps restore and protect old wood, but also strengthens the structure, increasing its durability. You can use it on decks, wooden roofs, crates, truck bodies, and any other piece that needs extra pest protection and a more durable finish. And the best part is that you're reusing something that would normally be thrown away, turning it into a smart solution to preserve wood and save money.